Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and today I wanted to talk to you about storage and how much do you actually need of it for your mining rigs. Now, this conversation is coming up because I recently experienced it myself, which I'll get into more detail in just a moment. But before we get started, let me read the, this, this small statement from this article. This article has nothing to do with crypto mining, but I want to read it nonetheless. Each algorithm takes some amount of memory to encrypt and decrypt the data. This also decides the performance of your algorithm. Now, what brought on this video is recently, and using a number of different mining calculators, uh, usually if you have a program set up for auto switching, it will go to the most profitable cryptocurrency. Well, out of those cryptocurrencies at the top here, Grin CR29 was one of the most profitable coins to mine uh, recently. Maybe not right now, but recently. And sometimes it pops up to the top every now and then. So your system may be, if it's compatible and can mine that algorithm, will switch to it. But MTP from Zcoin is also an algorithm which is very memory intensive. Now there's different types of memory. We got DDR4, which is not what I'm referring to. We got our GPU memory, so GDDR6, GDDR5, 5X. But what I'm referring to is something completely different. It's called virtual memory. So on my mining rig, or on any mining rig, and you should have already done this for your rig, whether you have uh, two cards or more, Really, if you have one card, it's not really necessary. But you open up File Explorer, right-click this PC, go to Properties, and this is going to open up your Control Panel. And on the left-hand side, you're going to see Advanced System Settings. Now, under Advanced System Settings in the System Properties, usually you'd be on the Computer Name tab, but you want to go over to Advanced. And then there at the top, there's Settings under the Performance category. Under the next window, you want to go to the Advanced tab again, and at the bottom, you're going to see something called Virtual Memory. A paging file is an area on the hard disk that window uses as if it were RAM. So right now, if you click Change, you're going to see what I currently have set up. By default, you're going to be on Automatic, where Windows will automatically manage it for you. However, for mining, especially once you start building up the amount of cards you have on that rig, you need to set up or increase your overall page file size. By default, in the past, we were able to get away with anything from 12,000 uh, megabytes or 12 gigs to 16 gigs or 16,000 megabytes. Excuse me. So, top number would be you know 12,000. Bottom number would be 16,000. Right now, you can see I have 52,000 and 68,000 as the maximum amount of. Uh, space or the size that I would have allocated for virtual memory or the page file. Now if I close this out, you're going to see how much I'm using right now, but take note of the hard drive. Now the hard drive space is 222 gigs. It's a 240 gig. So that means Windows already allocated a reserve portion because you don't want to max out the hard drive. There's always a reserve portion. Um, but as well, Windows files itself take up a decent amount of hard drive. Now, this computer is freshly set up. I had to upgrade from my PNY 120 gig to this Viseki 240 gigabyte. And Viseki, even though it's a Chinese manufacturer brand, it's actually a decent hard drive uh, if you could get your hands on it. It's cheap. Uh, if anything, it's not as reliable as the Sam Samsung 850, but for mining reasons, it's perfectly fine. The controller might die well before the 850 Evo or, or you know, some of the other name brands we're aware of, but I did a video on this. It works just like a regular SSD, and for mining purposes, it will do the job. So I upgraded from the PNY 120GB to this Viseki 240, and you can see already just mining things like Dagger, uh, Grin Kakatu 31, uh, Grin Kakaroo or Kakarood or Kakaroo D29, whatever you want to call it. I know a lot of people have different versions. And then some Raven, uh, Raven coin on the X16R V2. You can see that I'm already using 70% of the virtual memory that I have allocated. So that's quite a bit. I'm using about 42 
gigabytes or 41,499 megabytes of virtual memory. What was happening when I had the 120 gig in there is I had my virtual memory set from 32 to 42, which if you look right now, look, I'm, I'm basically hitting that limitation. Well, here's what would happen. Grin 29 or Grin would become the most popular coin to mine. So all my cards or most of my cards would switch over to that. And I saw in HW Info, my virtual memory page file hit 99% load. And that's not good. It's in the red. You're, you're at your maximum. You're hitting the limits. Well, what would happen is not every card had enough virtual memory or page file to mine on Grin29. So there might be six cards mining while the other two are sitting there. Well, I have it set up whether I'm in nice hash, awesome miner, or just a, uh, a you know a specific miner like T-Rex, G miner, or so on and so forth. I have Watchdog set up that if it detects you know two cards not running or one card not running or something happens, restart miner, if something happens, restart the computer. So I was boot looping. It was mine for a little bit and then it will stop and then restart the computer. It will mine for a little bit, stop, and then restart the computer. So it was unprofitable for me. And as much as I, I appreciate Zcoin going to the MTP algorithm to try to be more ASIC resistant and Grin29 or Grin in general, Mimblewimble, just updating their algorithms uh, to keep it ASIC resistant or try to combat the ASIC uh, decent, or, you know, centralization the algorithms are becoming more taxing on a system, whether it's utilizing a lot of GPU memory or utilizing a lot of virtual memory, it's becoming more taxing. So in today's age, in 2019, because we didn't need this much back in the day, in 2019, if I were to recommend a specific size hard drive for you, if you're only going to have two to four cards, a 120 gigabyte, you can get away with it. But if you want to save yourself and have the room for expanding with no problems whatsoever, you at least need a minimum, in my opinion, personal opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Excuse me. In my personal opinion, you're going to need a 240 gig or higher. If you want to just go ahead and get a 500 gig because SSD prices are, are, have been dropping and continue to drop uh, due to DDR being more uh, available to the general public, uh, NAND flash, all that good stuff, and, and the whole situation that happened in the past with uh, um, the different memory vendors, uh, manufacturers, and all that stuff. SSDs are really, really cheap. You can use a regular platter hard drive, but I would not recommend it because you're slowing down your boot times, responsiveness of the system, and all that good stuff. And it, if your system is not functioning, you want it to restart as quickly as possible, get everything back up and running, and all that good stuff. Even with the 120 gig, at the bare minimums, I had an MSI Afterburner, T-Rex Miner, G-Miner, Claymore Miner, Phoenix Miner, the bare minimum of stuff, once I added the virtual memory or the page file size to that hard drive, I was maxed out. And that was the issue for my system. So once I upgraded to the 240 gig, I had no problem. If I expand further and put 14 cards on this one motherboard, uh, because I have that capability, then I may have to increase my overall storage to the 500 gig. So, I hope you got some useful information out of this video. Do me a favor, hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe for more content. Comment let me know your thoughts. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for stopping by.